Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In this um, tutorial we'll be going over how to make um, ID uh, maps for this um, M9 or other, uh, um, known as well as ID maps. So yeah let's get started. Um, so basically pretty much the whole gun is the same colour anyway but um, it would still be nice to just add this to it because uh, it kind of gives it, you know, a little bit more, more customization. Let's say if you want to change something up and make it gold and stuff, you know, like if you want a gold barrel and it's pot silver, you know, you, you can you can do that. So first thing first, pretty much to make ID um, moss, we are going to want to select this. Up. Um, going to quickly have a look at how big my texture size is I think it's 4k yes yeah, so um, I'm going to f yeah I'm going to make it 4k uh, so basically we're going to turn on screen cast keys quickly just in case I do anything in there um, so basically you're going to make a new material down here near the little icon uh, photo icon, there's a uh, plus new, we click that, um, you can set um, it by 4k by typing four, you know, typing the numbers in, or you can just do um, times uh, 4, yeah, there you go, like so, and there uh, you don't have to worry about the last digits if you, <laughs> if you um, if you keep mixing them up, you know. Now, uh, we've got a 4K texture here. Um, so basically what we're going to do now is... I don't think we need a high poly, but I'm leaving it there just in case I'll break sync or need it later. Um, we're going to want to add a bunch of materials. Um, turn the uh, spec uh, all the way down on each of these, so you know, you just make a bunch of materials, you know, um, each material is its own um, mask, pretty much, so let's say four should be good enough for us, uh, for now anyway, um, so basically, get, just, give them, just give them different colours, so this one, I'll set blue, light blue, Green, red. Uh, another thing is, if you say, say it as RGB, you know, r red, blue, and green, then you, depending on what game engines you're using, you might able to um, modify um, certain things as well. So just keep that in mind. You know, it's better to have RGB instead of um, other colors. You know, even though I've got two blues here, I don't, I don't know. Um, just thought I should track that out there. So, just if, if if you're making them, yeah, I'm gonna stop mumbling on about that. All right, so um, I'll leave that part blue. Um, this part here, I'm gonna make sure I've got. I think just hit L on it once, and then I'm just holding down Control Plus, and just assign another material to that. Um, you know what, I'm going to assign a different material to this, I prefer, it. you know, what I like is, um, when you make a first material, it, you know, the first material you make gets applied to everything, so the smaller details, little details, if they're all going to be the same thing, you might as well just let it, um, take over for the smaller stuff, so that's what I'm going to do, um, so I'm going to set that that green uh, this part I'm going to set red um, we could give up other colors um, I kind of want to um, just want to get the bigger parts out um, different color um, I'm going to set that red as well you know what bit stuff down here 
kind of bit same. Okay, I'm happy with that. So basically what we're going to do now, uh, this is where my dyslexic is going to kick in and probably do something wrong here. Um, so you want to go down, you want to go onto the little camera icon over here and scroll all the way down the bottom. And we want to set, we, we want to bake this out as a texture, textures. Let's see, does it, did that work? Yes, yes. <laughs> it worked. Brilliant. Okay, I thought I was going to actually duplicate um, the model and do it. But now, it comes out, and now we've got ourselves um, a ID mask here. And if we actually go back and we, to the material tab, we can actually now remove all these materials. Um, but I actually don't want to do this. Um, no, actually, yeah, yeah, we can remove them. So, look, no materials on it. But we got our texture here, and it rep, you know, it kind of saying, "Hey, I'm this part of the um, gun, so you can okay." The red, the red part is going to be this stuff down here. Um, don't know why it's blowing up here. And if if, if you're having problems, um, you know, you could come back and have a look if you didn't delete that stuff. But if you did delete it, you could make a new material. And I don't like. The reason why we turn the shine down, I believe that affects um, able of selecting it in Photoshop and other applications. I know you had to turn it down when you're using Quixel, so that's that why I do now. Um, so we're going to assign ourselves a new texture, and we're going to pick our ID mouse and material texture. There we go. Okay, and you can, you can see it. You know. So if you're getting confused what part um, you want a colour in and stuff like that, you know, you can come back here and just have a look. Okay, that part is that, so let me get a better idea of it. Um, so yeah, next part is going to be texturing. Um, I'm going to stop it here, and I'm going to go get some textures off, uh, I believe it's texture.com now. Um, but uh, it used to be CG textures, I'm going to go over there, grab some textures, and then um, start the next tutorial. So, um, yeah, I'll see you on the other side.